just when you think the Jesse Smollett story could not get any more complicated, he is now being accused of something else. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's up? I'm Jaded Nerd, and I want to talk to y'all about Jesse Smollett and the latest allegations that are being hurled against him. Jesse Smollett is being accused of knowing the brothers beyond the capacity of being a trainer and orchestrating this facade of him being attacked allegedly. Page6.com is reporting that Jesse Smollett and one of the old Sundaro brothers, Abel, had a relationship together. They're alleging that they partied together at this bathhouse in Chicago and that they had a sexual relationship. The tea about the bathhouse allegedly is that it's for affluent gay black men and it's very well known in that circle and that's where they were going. The insider also goes on to say that it's easy to check the validity of this because you have to show ID at these places and if they ever have to subpoena the records of this bathhouse, it'll be very easy to confirm whether or not Jesse Smollett and one of the Unside Dyro brothers was there. The thing that stood out to me once I thought about this story after I read it was the insider. When you think insider, I'm thinking either someone close to Jesse Smollett or the brothers or someone close at the bathhouse. I'm trying to figure it out. I had to narrow it down. Either someone close to Jesse Smollett, because if he and Abel are going to this bathhouse allegedly having a good old time and doing things with other people there, then I'm assuming that Jesse may have told somebody or either a friend was at the bathhouse too and that's how they knew or there was a female friend or another gay friend and Jesse was like, child, let me tell you, look, boom, 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 boom. They got all the tea and now they're the quote unquote insider. I don't know if the insider comes from the Unsandario brothers because they're Nigerian and there's a very conservative mindset in that country and they have a very intolerant attitude towards the LGBTQ plus community. So I'm I don't know if any of the information would be coming from somebody within their quote unquote camp. But then I started thinking about the bathhouse too, because maybe somebody at the bathhouse is the one spilling the tea. Maybe somebody either used to work there or still does is being the quote unquote insider and is putting this information out there. All of this is alleged, but I'm just trying to figure out who the insider is. It has to be somebody with intimate knowledge of how Jesse Smollett operates sexually, especially if you're talking about a bathhouse. Bathhouses operate under the guise of anonymity. Yeah, they need your ID because they want to know who's coming up in there. But once you up in there, it's no holes barred and they go in and they let have. So it's a very debaucherous, a very seedy, it's a very, you know, dungeon like mentality. Like, yo, you're going in here to do what you need to be doing. And people on the outside don't even know what's going on. I'm trying to understand the motive behind releasing this information because his career has kind of stalled. He's not getting endorsements. He's been humiliated and shamed. And I kind of feel like it's kind of running its course on that. So I'm trying to understand, unless this is just a further step in the investigation, who's to say? How do you feel about the information coming out about Jesse Smollett and Abel allegedly going to this bathhouse and it being well known? How do you feel about Jesse Smollett operating that way, knowing he's a celebrity? Like the article says, everything is public record and you have to show ID. So there is a way to corroborate that if that is the case. Put everything in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what y'all have to say about this. If you can, please throw a like on the video, subscribe and share. It is greatly appreciated. I'm Jaded Nerd. I'll talk to y'all next time.